A university is not something that one simply opens, like a savings account or a jar of pickles. Any self-respecting academic institution was doubtlessly opened long ago by dignified people who wore bowler hats and spoke via subtitle, The world is a creation of the past, and it is our job to keep it all going and try not to touch anything. Announcement. Plants need water, remember? I'm Felicity Bellbottoms and you're listening to Campus Radio. Later in the show, we'll be discussing another hot student topic. 
old meat. How grey is too grey? That and much, much more coming right up. Students are reminded to find themselves. are reminded that this is the fun part. Education Minister Tarquin Foxbridge has once again stoked the fire between his department and the county's student unions, saying, Tuition fees will rise and they must rise. I spend more on loafer wax than most students do on their entire education. It's just not fair. Thanks, Minister, for that much needed, albeit clueless, perspective. Frequently asked questions. Yes, we are testing you.
that students should pretend that they're listening. can, if done incorrectly, be quite boring. But here's our preview of a lecture that has students everywhere wide awake. <laughs> Avant-garde academic and student darling Omar Figgins began his latest series of touring lectures this week. The early reviews are in for the talk entitled what we talk about when we talk about what we talk about. One student had this to say. It was great. I barely understood any of it. So, you can imagine. Wow. Reserve your tickets for his visit to your campus today. You won't want to miss it. Students are reminded that you came here on purpose. Unattended sandwiches will be eaten by me. Students are reminded that I'm not your mum. How do you follow up the best-selling album in Two Point County history with even more music? 
even more. Jasmine Odyssey presents Even More. Health Inspector Henry Jobsworth, who sent us a very comprehensive 7,000 word report on the subject. Asked for a snappier response, more suitable for radio, he had this to say. If it's just turned grey, it might be okay. If it's been grey for a while, it's sure to be hostile. Well, if it rhymes, it's probably true. We are approaching the end of the academic year. Try not to worry. The summer is a good time to relax and prepare for next year. The academic year is now over. Results are now available. No unauthorized panicking. Six. 
expanding, even more than usual. Students are reminded that some grades are personal. Students should check in before trying to learn. Now taking students for virtual normality. The timetable is not written in stone. Still, we're not changing it. the oven wasn't on. Sir Nigel Bicklewood. Cheers. Cheers. On Two Point Radio. Salutations and congratulations on your exquisite taste. You are tuning in for the peak of sophistication on our county's airwaves, Sir Nigel Bickleworth on Two Point Radio. But of course, you already knew of that.
There's a fly in here. Time for Sir Nigel Reviews. And thanks to the enlightening intervention of our wonderful producers, you, the audience, have chosen the object of our desires this week. The public's collective wisdom has entrusted me with hog logs. I'm told a popular choice of breakfast cereal. Let's get this over with, shall we? Mm -hmm. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Interesting. It almost tastes like pork scratchings. Ooh! Janitor required in lecture theatre. is reminded to stay hydrated.
Apologies for the abrupt end to our last segment. I've had a quick rinse and can commence with our review. The border of sweet and savory is, for some perverse reason, the fashion in fine dining circles, so I suppose it only makes sense that this would trickle down in some form to the food of the layperson. Congratulations to you, the common people, for joining in on this most foul of fads. Frequently asked questions. No, your chicken should not be pink. Gives you a bright future and clouds it with debt. <laughs> <laughs> 